Okay, this is serious. The amount of gross incompetence that is that that any and all monopoly style company or organization is rife with these days. I mean, maybe it was always this way. I just wasn't dealing with as much stuff. But when it comes to rental agencies, landlords, the phone company, that's in my past. Um, oh yeah, uh, internet service providers, uh, uh, the uh, the tax collectors, um, you know, state franchise tax board. Uh, oh, and uh, utilities, other utilities, garbage company. Uh, uh, recology, uh, landlords. It's really every, every one of the things becomes so complicated and it's always some, the system is always down. It's just like a uh, pop copy. Tell them the computers are down. They should be anyhow. And it's always there. It's always other people's fault and they have no, they take no responsibility and the burden is on the customer or the renter or whomever else to make up for the slack. And either the, it's people, it's, it's just, it's monopolies. They're monopolies that they don't have to, they don't have to be handled correctly. And I guess this is why capitalists are so staunch about competition and everything. They're right. They're fucking right, dude. I, I, I don't know. I you know it's like I don't want to make a video. I don't want to make a wacky comedy video detailing and it, the hilarious misadventures that one can go through. Oh, I don't know, getting their tax refund. You know, uh, uh, getting uh, uh, services provided. You know, the amount of complications and wacky stories. You know, that that are so complex and so ridiculous that if you don't like document them, you just go, wow, yeah, that was crazy. You remember it at the time. Like right now, I've got to get my tax accountant to fax, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah, you want the, you want the minutia? You want the entertaining minutia, the wacky fun stories? Well, you're, well, you know, when you should be doing other things. Here we go. So I have to get my tax accountant to send just an image of my W-2, which could be totally faked, right? <laughs> to the California Franchise Tax Board, okay? Because the company that I used to work for did not report, because uh, they report your tax withheld uh, uh, quarterly, and it just so happens that the amount that is a discrepancy, um, they don't even have a copy of my W-2, by the way. Uh, it's not sent to them, apparently. Uh, but yes, these... Uh, <laughs> these these uh it, it's, it's court it's quarterly so i am missing it's coincidentally uh, n not at all one a, a quarter of my tax withheld so i have to i have to have my <laughs> tax accountant mm, fax uh a person named koi that's k-o-y uh at station number 1260 uh of team number 24 uh supervisor natalie uh, an image of this W-2 and that image, uh, and of course I was supposed to get a refund, uh, I guess now or a month ago. Um, and instead they're saying that I owe, and in order to get that refund, it's going to take, well, the whole, their whole system is down. It's the, the whole system actually went down. Uh, so, uh. Nothing is going to even happen until the 2nd of January. And then after that, there's a two week waiting period to confirm or for them to ingest the faxed information, which includes all the information I just mentioned and the image of the W-2. And then it's going to take, it was like four to six weeks after that when you would get the, your refund. And it's all because the company I worked for didn't report it and they don't, they don't contact them. They contact me. Really, right now, Jewish looking guy. They contact me. <laughs> and I, I mean. <clears throat> and so I have to wait. Now, luckily, I don't need that refund right now. But what if I did? 
He says, oops. Sorry, sorry you can't use that to pay your rent. Sorry, they didn't report it. So you, let me write this down. You need to write it on the notice. You need to write it on the notice so when it goes through the facts, I'm waiting to hear if my tax accountant, who also has his own situation is going, if he has a fax machine, you know, because he's a business, he might have a fax. But if not, then I'm going to have to take, go take a, a trip to fax town <laughs> and fax uh, you know, Coy at station 1260, team number 24, Supervisor Natalie. So you can get the money that you paid into too much. Get your own money back. Employment too, same thing. Almost in a different way though. They ask you to so crazy. Like, like technically, if you're sick, you're supposed to tell them so they don't pay you for that time. <laughs> what is that? What in the hell is that? What poor soul has ever worshipped Jesus Christ and had a 100% exact moral code enough that they told unemployment that they, <laughs> they were sick because they couldn't have worked so unemployment would not pay you during that time. It's like, it's like oh, wow. Like, <laughs> by, un by my job at unemployment where I'm paid by unemployment... <laughs> I was not well enough. Uh, I don't deserve the money because I'm sick and I don't have a job, so I shouldn't get sick pay. But even though unemployment's supposed to make up for not having a job, but you don't have a job, so. Uh